Here's how to make one sprite follow another sprite anywhere on the screen and how to make it faster or slower. Let's get started. I'm starting here with two sprites. The blue one I'm calling me, which is right here, and the red one I'm calling follower, which is right here. And I'm drawing them on the screen with a white background, and that's all you've got. The next thing I'm going to do is make this blue one follow my mouse. So I need to control its X position and its Y position. And it's called me in both cases. And my mouse control is under world, so I'll just scroll down and find world mouse X. And set my little blue guy, me, to mouse X. And his Y to mouse Y. So now he follows my mouse. And then the goal is to have this other little red guy chasing or following my blue guy. So the first thing you want to do is check uh, the relative position of the two of them. So we're going to say if the if me.x is greater than followers x. And you can do that with blocks but I just took a shortcut and typed it in there and then clicked out to turn it into a box. If that's the case, then we want to set the velocity, the x velocity of the follower. And we'll just keep things nice and slow right now. We'll just set it to 2. Alright, so when I'm over here behind him, he's not moving, but if I cross over in front, then he starts chasing me. And he'll chase me forever because I, I never set his velocity to anything other than 2. So for now, why don't we just say else copy and paste that, and if it's not true, we'll set it to zero. So he's chasing me, but if I go behind him, he stops chasing me. Well, since I want him to chase me in either direction, it makes more sense to change this to negative two, right? So when I'm over here, he chases me, and when I'm over here, he chases me back and forth. We can mess with the speed later. Now notice going up and down has no real bearing on what this thing does, so Let's copy this whole thing and paste it. That's Control C to copy. You're highlighting by clicking in the white. Control V to paste. And now I'm going to take all these X's and change them to Y's. So to do that, I'll switch into text mode. Notice that the two inside the if are lowercase. And the velocity ones are capital. So now I've got two big ifs with else's. And now he's chasing me. Now it might be cool for level 1 for this guy to be really slow and level 2 for him to be quite a bit faster. So to do that, uh, I'm just going to make a variable called speed. And I'll set it to 2 to start. And then everywhere where I gave it a velocity of 2, I'm just going to change it to speed. Whoa, not that though. Right here, speed. And right here I'm going to say negative speed. Speed and negative speed. Make sure I didn't break anything. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, that's working. And then uh, you could play around with what sort of conditions might make the speed go faster. Like it might be a level up, but I'm just going to say uh, F for fast. And then we can just give speed a new value right here. Alright, so everything's going nice and slow with a speed of 2, and then if I hold down F, then he gets quite a bit faster. That's how you do it.